Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why hyperbaric oxygen is used in the treatment of CO poisoning that is carbon monoxide poisoning. Let's try to understand the reason behind it. First, we have to understand what happens in this CO poisoning. In CO poisoning, this CO has a strong ability to bind with hemoglobin. That is one thing. So what it will do is it will go and bind with hemoglobin and kick off the oxygen that is present previously. And one more thing it does that is also very dangerous. If there is some amount of hemoglobin which is having the oxygen molecule, this carbon monoxide inhibits their release also. It is dangerous in two ways. First thing is it is kicking off the oxygen molecules that are inside the hemoglobin. Plus at the same time, if there is some oxygen molecule attached to the hemoglobin previously, they also cannot get delivered to the tissue because the carbon monoxide is inhibiting their release into the tissue. So what's the solution here? The hemoglobin bound oxygen is completely out of the picture. So there is one more form of oxygen called as dissolved oxygen. So what we have to try to improvise is to increase the level of this dissolved oxygen so that the tissue hypoxia is prevented. Let's take an example. All of us know dissolved oxygen is dependent upon a particular law called as Henry's law, which states that the dissolved oxygen amount, dissolved oxygen amount is equal to K into partial pressure. Now what we are trying to do is increase this partial pressure by using a hyperbaric oxygen. This K is a constant which is around 0 0.003. That means that for every 1 mm of Hg, it can dissolve this much of oxygen. But what we are going to do? We are going to use 4 atmospheres of hyperbaric oxygen, which is around 3000 mm of Hg. So now what it is going to do is, around 9 ml of oxygen will be in the dissolved form. This is very very high amount of dissolved form, which is not very safe to the human, but to save the person we have to use an hyperbaric oxygen at least for some time. So this amount of oxygen will be dissolved in the 100 ml and the tissue will be prevented from the hypoxia. In this way the hyperbaric oxygen is going to save the person from the CO poisoning. Later on as and when the CO is eliminated from the body new oxygen can bound to the hemoglobin form. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We will see in the next video. Thank you.